What is up guys, welcome to another sunny day in Azeroth Not so sunny In today's video I'm gonna show you how to set up my UI Some of you has asked me in the comments How am I uh, setting up this UI So I'm gonna show you a tutorial about it This is the first time I'm doing this tutorial so bear with me, I'm gonna try to do my best For this tutorial you're gonna need the curse app or the curse website to download your add-ons this website for the action bars and another UI and tell this website for weak auras I'm gonna post this in the description below so for this tutorial I'm gonna create a new character and set the UI with you okay we're gonna create an orc monk we're gonna name him prefix UI tut alright we're gonna disable every add-on and we're gonna enable Luai Shadowed Unit Frames Scada and Weak Auras So with, we're gonna be greeted with this interface we're gonna click install this installs it for our current character okay let me zoom out a bit from here we have our colors for the class Monk, Priest, Mage, Demon Hunter We're gonna go with Monk of course, you're gonna choose your class color or another color if you prefer another one So for first we're gonna go to Frames On the raid part we're gonna click the Blizzard ones Because we don't wanna use the Shadow Unit Frames ones We're gonna reload the UI Then we're gonna head over to Auras We're gonna debuff consolidate buffs because I don't want them consolidated, I want all my buffs to be shown of course this is a personal preference okay for the bags you will see that we do not have the lock frames checked because as default the bag shows up here and I want to move it somewhere up here after we moved it we go back to the Y and lock the frames so we cannot move it again now we're gonna set up the chat the font that I use is Vibro Seb with the 16 font size and for the edit box Vibro Seb without changing any fonts. For the bars I do not use Luai's bars because uh, I think they're buggy and they have a lot of uh, input lag. If you're a demon hunter and you use rain from above your action bar will not toggle and you're just gonna set up in the air and cannot use your ability. So I'm gonna click disable on this. UI needs to be reset. Also here at the bars I'm gonna disable all the rest of the artwork. If you wanna keep it that's a personal preference but I'm gonna use other action bars. So I'm gonna disable all these. Okay. Now at the swing timer. I do not want my swing timer to show and it will overlay with my action bar so I'm gonna put the position to max negative so it won't show. We're disabling the tooltips because I'm using another UI's tooltips. Now for the unit frames. I'm gonna choose the layout Chandrella here because I like it more. See it changed. I'm gonna disable the XP and the reputation. Per and target. Now I do not use these unit frames. I'm gonna use the shadowed unit frames, but I cannot disable player and target unit frames and I also like how the cast bars look so I'm gonna keep them enabled and not faded if they fade my cast bar will not show so I'm gonna move them out of the way somewhere I cannot notice them I will show you in a second so we go to player we disable the border and the background all right we're gonna do we're gonna disable the text we're gonna leave the Casper because we like it target we're gonna do the same here everything else can be disabled so we're gonna go ahead and do that because we do not use the unit frames focus pet party boss boss target, 
Main tank, no. Arenas, no. We're gonna leave the raid for this battle. Okay, so for the cast bar, I do like Luai's cast bar. Look at this. Look. See, I like how it looks right now, and I don't want to change that. And I want my target to be displayed with their cast bar here too. So, without being able to disable these, um, we're gonna go to the unit frames main panel and we're gonna move them. We're gonna click move unit frames. So, I'm gonna move them as away as I can. So I'm gonna drag it here, then I'm gonna click it again so I can drag it further. See? Out of sight. If you're making videos with this and you put your camera frame here, this will not even be noticed. I'm gonna do the same with the target. Drag it down as much as I can. See, because I want the cast bars here. I'm gonna click save. Okay, so that's with Lui. Now for the action bars, I prefer to use LVY's action bars and, and their fonts. If you want to use other action bars, if you don't want the default ones, you can use Bartender 4. It's a good one, but I personally don't like it, so I'm gonna use the LVY ones. So, you're gonna go to tukwai.org. I'm gonna put the link in the description. You're gonna go to UIs, LVY, download. And you're gonna go and download it here. After you download it and copy it in your folder, we are gonna enable it. Add-ons, LVY. We don't need the back filter, so we're gonna leave it like that. Reload. All right, here we're gonna kick skip process. All right, disable this. Okay, so you can see we have two UIs here. We're gonna disable a lot of the features of LVI, excluding the action bars. So to enter LVI, you're gonna go in do slash elf UI in the general tab we're gonna disable the bottom panel and the raid control I do not use raid control because I am not a raid leader so I don't necessarily care about it we're gonna leave the action bars from now we're gonna do them later bags we want to disable the bags because we use Lui bags for the buffs and debuffs we're gonna disable the buffs We're gonna disable the chat so we don't have these little things. Now your chat is disabled but you still have these layers. So what I personally did, I went to the key bindings and for the LVY I toggled the chat to be hidden away. Mine is Ctrl Q. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And the UI disappeared. So I don't have any problems. With the data bars, we don't need them because we're, I'm using weak auras. You can use these bars, see, for XP, for artifact power, for prestige, but I'm not using them. We're gonna disable the minimap, so we can use the UI's minimap. For the nameplates, I like to keep this UI's nameplates because they're wide. They usually show me in a battleground who is a healer with the plus icon here. So I think they're really helpful. If you don't want to use these nameplates, you can use QI nameplates, download them from the Curse app. They're amazing too, but I prefer these ones instead. We go to skins, we disable all these skins. These skins were like th the options, you know? So if you click a friendlies, now it's the Blizzard skin. If you would have the LVY skin, this will be all black without these colors and overlays. Tooltips we want to enable because we want to see who is the target when we hover the mouse. Now at the uniframes, we're gonna disable all of them since we're using shadow unit frames. Okay, so now we can deal with the action bars. We go to the action bars. I usually disable pet bar because I don't play any pet based class. Stance bar. Micro bar is the bar for, uh, see if I enable it, is the bar for your options from your game options, but you get that here also from the other UI, so you don't need that. What we're gonna do next, we're gonna go to bar four, 
We're gonna disable the, this backdrop here. There's the normal action bar. And now comes the tricky part when we move UI elements in our display. So we go to the toggle anchors and we can move anything in here. So my talking head frame usually stays here. My zone ability and boss button somewhere here or somewhere down here since I don't usually use them. Usually gonna be above my action bar. Okay, so now I'm gonna move my bars. Bar three. We also need to enable some of them, like bar two. Enable. Go back to toggle. Bar two is gonna be above bar three. The trick here is bar three has more buttons, but they're not shown, so we're gonna make them show. We're gonna go here, buttons, 12 buttons, and buttons per row, 12. And now we have our whole bar. We toggle again. We move these here. If you wanna move them like a really okay distance, we're just gonna move them with the arrows. Just gonna land them a bit. You can land these yourself or you want I want them on a display. Alright, bar 5 is gonna have 12 buttons, but it's gonna be one button per row. And this bar goes up here. I'm gonna put it a bit further. Okay, we're gonna move the vehicle frame a bit right here. Okay. For the battle net frame, you know, when you see someone come online or see someone do anything, I'm putting it usually above the chat. So I'm just gonna put my boss button here, my zone ability here. Alright. These are the action bars. Now, for the unit frames, I'm gonna show you the shadowed unit frames. If you wanna toggle them, if you wanna toggle their options, you're gonna type slash S U F. Go to general. And we unlock frames. We have all our frames here and we can do whatever we want with them. I disabled the party ones, uh, the raid ones, because I use the Luai's raid and party frames that's gonna show up here. If it's a party, it's gonna show up only on this row. If it's a raid, it will show up in this whole area consolidating themselves. If you're done, lock frames. And you can use the unit frames. Th these are pretty easy to configure. Now, you notice in my videos that I have a frame here for my artifact power and my item level and here for the prestige level. So I'm gonna show you how to enable that. Okay, so we go to Tauli's website. In here we have some weak auras that we need. For this uh, frame you're gonna need the weak auras to add on. After you downloaded it, and after you downloaded it and copied it in your folder, we go here, we choose our Artifact Power Nation Mana Circle. We click here on the code. We get all this stuff. We copy it. We go in the game. We type slash wa. This will only work if you have weak RS2 enabled. Okay, so we go to import. We paste the link here. And if we're gonna, if I'm gonna click here import, which I'm not gonna do because I already have the frame, a circle with your frame will appear somewhere on the display. I'm just gonna be like here done. So here's gonna be a circle. Now from here you can position it wherever you want to. I like it here. And here is the prestige one that you're gonna also retrieve like you retrieve this one. You go to the website, you get the link, and then you copy it here at the import. Okay so that's it. This is the UI configuration that I have. Uh, one last mention, if you know, if using two UIs is not a good idea or something for you, don't use LVI and it's all things use the bartender and the QI nameplates and I think you're gonna be all right without that whole configuration. I personally like some features of the both UIs, one for the looks and one for the practicality. But if you ever have some errors like uh, I used to get an error on the Luai cooldowns, which didn't slow my game. I used the script to hide these errors, 
since they don't affect the game in any way. We can make a new macro, say errors. And you're gonna use the command console script error zero. If you wanna see the errors, you're gonna have to put one here. Once you have this macro, you drag it to your cast bar, you click it, and that's it, you have no more errors. So, I hope this video was helpful. I'm gonna post all the links that I mentioned in the description. If you enjoyed it, hit a thumbs up. Bye bye! <laughs>